Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife and Resources Agency. Hey, welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray. I was going to let Frank introduce this uh, segment because he does such a great job. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save Frank uh, for the last segment. How about that, Frank? Is that okay with you? That, that'll that prepare that, you so you, that'll be just fine, right? so you won't be real nervous when you try to introduce this, <laughs> the segment. You know, so... Uh, and I know Frank's excited about listening to this next young man. Uh, a lot of us in the Mid-South, particularly around the Memphis area, and all you folks out in Brownsville, Tennessee, Jackson, Tennessee, throughout the Mid-South that are listening to this radio show on this Saturday morning, uh, know this young man's name. Uh, he is, uh, of course, we get the Atlanta Braves here. Uh, my, when I told my pastor, who was the biggest Atlanta Braves fan that I know, I, I think if he could, he would change his name to Chipper Lenhalls instead of Elliot Lenhalls. Uh, and when I told him that uh, that Austin Riley was going to be on the show, he might even be up this morning to listen to it. But uh, we're happy to have Austin Riley on with us this morning. Good morning, Austin. Good morning. Thanks Thanks for having me, guys. All right. And I told Austin uh, and, and Frank this, uh, that I was watching a video uh, the night before I was deer hunting back in December, and uh, we had a bunch of videos in there. That's all you do when you're – at deer hunting and uh there came austin and he was in nebraska and he was cold he was cold but something warmed him up he killed an amazing buck and i said i gotta get austin on this show and we got him this morning so uh talk about that experience i know that we, we can talk all day about the atlanta braves and you're the third baseman and all these different kind of things and DeSoto central high school we're also proud of you here but talk about the experience of being on the real tree uh, road tour video. Oh, it's it's awesome. You know, Tyler is a is an unbelievable guy along with Bill. Yes. Uh, you know, I got to know Tyler through the Braves. He's a, he's a huge Braves yes, fan. Yes, he is. Yeah. Um, so we we linked up there, and and you know, the last couple of years we've been going on some hunts. Um, I'm guessing you're talking about the Nebraska the hunt Nebraska year. hunt. Yes, I'm what I'm talking yeah. about. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, it was it was awesome. It was you know we were there for five days. Um, the first three days it was terrible weather, seventy degrees. Oh, deer yeah. weren't moving. And then the uh, ice storm came in. So <laughs> right, it, ice. We you know we got ice one day. The temperatures dropped. We started seeing some deer. Um, you know, then we got some snow, which was was really cool. Yes. Um. And, you know, couldn't get couldn't get down the down to the river. Um. You know, it was so slick that morning. But decided to to, to sleep, sleep in. in. And, you slept uh, in. That, that's that's a great thing for deer hunting is to sleep in. You know, and still right? know, and still know they're going to be there. So, so yeah. It's, so you were in. You were the, the cameraman was in there with you. It looked like it was awful tight. I don't know where he was. But uh, the, yeah, those, those redneck blinds are actually really comfortable. They, if I, could, I have a redneck, I, I have a redneck ghillie blind, ground blind. Yes. Oh, it's, they're awesome. They're awesome. So you, it's got plenty of room. So you're there, and uh, now have you grown up hunting? Did you hunt when you were younger? Or is this something that you just started? I did. Um, you know, I hunted a little bit with my dad, but uh, I killed my first deer with my uncle Heath Hill. Um, He's kind of really shown me, you know, got me in the same bow way hunting. with me. That same way, my uncle's what taught me. So uh, yeah, yeah. So you cut your teeth, uh, honey, North Mississippi. Is that basically what you did, or my family land, or what? Uh, um, some family land. My my grandmother has some some land in Charleston, Mississippi. Uh, but uh, like my uncle grew up, you know, he lives in Winona, Mississippi. Okay, so I, yeah. I spent a lot of time there. Uh, you know, just bounce as soon as much as my mom could take me down there. I'd spend <laughs> okay. the weekend. Yeah, primarily uh, deer hunting. Primarily deer hunting. Is that your uh, primarily thing? Yeah, deer, deer hunting is. I duck hunt a little bit, but mainly mainly deer hunting. Okay, Frank, you heard that he does duck hunting a little bit, but he's like me. That's he mainly deer hunts. But uh, right. So what the invitation to the real tree hook up? That's got to be a thrill. I mean to. Oh. <laughs> yeah it was it was pretty pretty cool because like i said i grew up watching bill and tyler and you know michael waddell all those guys those are my you know the guys i watched on tv and yes you know the first time i met up with tyler hunting we went to this farm uh there in georgia uh and they got an unbelievable place yeah, it was, they it was do. A cool experience. yeah and that got you going so you had so they invited you to nebraska you ever been to nebraska 
before? Nope. Ne- never. never hunted out of Mississippi. Never hunted out of Mississippi. They got the video camera going. They got you in that uh, gilly, uh, I mean, that uh, redneck ground blind. Uh, it looks like you were cold, and then, but you really were cool. No pun intended on this. So, uh, <laughs> how nervous were you? I, I mean, I know base is loaded, and you're at bat is the third baseman of the Braves. And uh, uh, did you get that nervous? I mean, uh, it's definitely the same, you know, <laughs> adrenaline. It's, it is, uh, isn't it? Yeah. It's definitely, you know, your, your heart's pounding. And it, I kind of go back to those redneck binds. They're so nice. And, you know, we had a buddy heater in there, so I didn't have oh, a bunch yeah. of clothes on. Yes. Yeah. So when we opened the windows, that's like I said, it, it was, <laughs> oh, I got, I was freezing along with, you know, a big buck out in front of me. I was, I was pretty shook up. And, and do you bow hunt? Is that one of your passions there? A bow hunt? Yes. I, I pulled out my rifle one time this year. I, I do bow hunting on the most. Really? So uh, this buck comes in. You got a doe standing right in front of you, spitting on you, and uh, and and the buck comes in. It's in, uh, and all of a sudden, you look like you got real calm. I don't know. I don't know if your heart was beating, or, uh, skipping, or what. So uh, talk about uh, making sure that shot was good. You know, I just for some reason I don't know what it is. It's like I'll shake until <laughs> up until when I draw and when I draw, I don't know if something comes over me. Yes. You know, I just, I kind of go into a very calm, you know, relaxed state and then I shoot and then it's right back to, you know, shake on. <laughs> and then finding that that night, did you realize how big that deer was? You know, that's what's crazy. You know, from Mississippi to Nebraska, the deer, the body of the deer. Yes. Or what's such a, you know, an eye opener, you know, from a, for a guy that doesn't hunt, you know, the Midwest much. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's uh, the big body. The tra- I mean, they, oh, yeah. It was like freaking cow. <laughs> um, <laughs> it did look like that, but, too. Yeah. I think it was a nine point, wasn't it? Was it a nine point? It was. Yeah. It was. It was a nine. Was that the, the biggest deer you've killed in your life? Then, uh, just... uh, I actually killed one a hair bigger in the uh, same spot the year before. In the uh, but same it was a, it was coming down to the last day. It was a, uh, it was an old tank of a deer. Um, we <laughs> we saw him the night before. Yeah. Um, so we, you know, like I said, come down to the wire, do some tough hunting, and, and elected to, to shoot him. Well, that's really good. Again, we're talking to Austin Riley uh, of the Atlanta Braves and. Uh, who uh, loves to deer hunt and um, lives in Hernando, Mississippi. Also, you got a lot of fans here. Uh, talk about uh, going into this season. Uh, I've got to ask you this. This has been a crazy year, 2020, and now we're on 2021. Thank goodness. So, uh, what's uh, what's what's ahead for you? You want to be that third you know, baseman for the Braves, don't you? Yeah, I, I, it's looking like it. Um, uh, looking like I'm having an opportunity to, to be the starting guy. Uh, you know, still obviously got to go out there, you know, this spring and, and, you know, play well and, and show that I, I just, you know, earned the job. But, um, you know, I also heard here recently that we, it looks like we are going to start on time, going to have a normal, yes. um, spring training time, uh, you know, along with 162 games, that's the plan. So that's we're we're stepping in the right direction. That's for sure. And I know that uh, when you report February, sometime in February, have you told you? Right around Valentine's Day. Right around uh, 14th, 13th, 14th, 15th. Well, that's great, buddy. Well, I know that, uh, Frank, you're talking to Austin Riley. You got to, you, uh, you, I, I know I'm a Cardinal fan, but I still pull for Austin, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know if Austin grew up being a Braves fan. You know, Frank, got a question for Austin? Frank. What? I'm sorry. What? You got a what question? Are... You got a question for Austin? Where are you going to go next? Deer hunting. It's... He wants to deer, hunting... deer hunting's over. <laughs> yeah, I wish uh I wish I was traveling again, but I'm not I'm I'm done for the year. Oh, he's uh, done. Yeah. I'm in I'm in full baseball mode, but have some plans, you know, probably go up to Nebraska again next year. Uh, I'm gonna draw for Kansas too, so hopefully, hopefully I can draw there. Those are the two two spots uh, I'd well, like to go back. Well, I know one place you need to go, and I'm gonna put Frank on the spot sometime next year. Uh, Frank, you need to take Austin duck hunting. Frank has got. He, How about the three of us go? Yeah, well, I will go. I will go. Austin will carry me in. No, Frank. Frank has all <laughs> the equipment to carry you in. Uh, 
uh, Austin, we want to get you in one of Frank Barton's duck blinds in East Arkansas. Uh, because, That's fine with me. Because uh, he's, uh, he's got two great spots to hunt. I, he's taken me many times, and uh, uh, it's just a passion with Frank. And so uh, I got your number here. I'm, we're going to set you up a trip. with uh, Frank, is that okay with you? If he brings, That's fine with me. All right. Austin, how about it? Next year, okay? Uh, that works for me. Let's do it, buddy. We appreciate you being with us on Outdoors of Larry Ray. Congratulations on the big bucks. Uh, I don't mean in dollars. Well, congratulations with that too. I mean that works out. That <laughs> that works out both ways and everything. But uh, we hope you have a great season. Look forward to seeing you and uh, talking to you again, man. Okay, have a great day. All right. Thank you. Thanks for having me on. Thank, thank you. All right. All right, Austin Riley. Let's take a break on Outdoors with Larry Red and talk to Frank into taking him next year. Frank, that's okay with you, right? All right. You bet. Okay. All right. We'll take a break. Come right back. Frank's going to close out today's show with the introduction that beats all introductions on Outdoors with Larry Ray. That's the FM voice himself, Frank Barton. We'll be right back. 